bed bugs are slightly smaller than an apple seed at full grown they're less than a quarter of an inch long they are flattened top to bottom uh, that's dorsal ventrally flat on the underside of the bed bug you can identify one by seeing the needle-like mouth parts which run from the front of the head down through between the legs uh, being a parasitic insect the, insect the legs are going to be far apart on the underside which is another clue that you might have a bed bug on the upper side of a bed bug the wing covers right behind the neck area will come together and meet but not be not form a straight line down the back but will actually just barely meet across the back of, of the insect and that's in comparison to the bat bug which is here on the left uh, bat bugs the wing covers meet in a straight line a vertical straight line down the back uh, and also if you look at the pronotal hairs that is the area right behind the head on the wings behind the head the sides there uh, there are hairs sticking out from those and those are much coarser and more obvious in the bat bug compared to the finer hairs associated with the bed bug it's important to know the difference of these bat bugs can be in in houses and, and associated with people as well but they typically are not going to be able to reproduce well enough on, on people to be able to maintain a population. So if a patient comes in that has, has uh, bat bugs associated with them, those will die out on their own, whereas the bed bugs will continue to increase. In comparison, lice uh, here on the left, this is a body louse. Head lice are gonna look relatively similar, essentially identical. They are considerably smaller and more slender than, uh, than the bat bugs or the bed bugs, either one, helping to identify those and, and realize that you're not looking at, uh, at bed bugs when you're actually seeing lice. Uh, bat, bug, bat bugs and bed bugs will have smaller uh, stages and, and the nymphal stages are gonna be smaller. The, uh, the nymph of the bed bugs are going to be uh, similar in shape, but much lighter in color, almost clear in appearance. And so, uh, so that will help in identifying those.